Turning now to the Ebola virus, this morning officials at the World Health Organization said that the death rate has risen to 70 percent. There's also word that there could be up to 10,000 new cases a week in two months. Officials gave the grim figures during a news conference in Geneva this morning. Previously, the WHO had estimated that the death rate at was around 50 percent. So what if an Ebola patient were to land here in West Michigan? Well, our hospitals, are they prepared and are health care workers properly equipped to care for the patient without becoming infected themselves? And those were topics of discussion in a meeting of health care professionals at Western Michigan University this morning. 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson was there and joins us. And right now in studio with the details, Mark. Yeah, good afternoon, Sue. That meeting was held at the new School of Medicine at Western Michigan University. The 5th District Medical Response Coalition actually meets every month, but because of the recent outbreak, the focus today was all about Ebola preparedness. The group included healthcare professionals from nine Southwest Lower Michigan counties and seven health departments. There were doctors, nurses, ER staff, infection preventalists, and emergency management in attendance. The group participated in a series of scenarios covering patient isolation and screenings. Uh, they also went into proper protection for medical workers and making sure that hospitals and healthcare professionals are following CDC guidelines. The focus right now is, uh, you know, really uh, absolute attention to detail of the protocol. And, um, you know, a lot of our attention in the past has been to properly don, the, don the, the protective equipment. And now what we're learning is what may be equally important is removing or doffing the equipment and disposing of it properly in a safe way that doesn't put the healthcare worker at risk. And doctors say much of the protocol is already in place for treating other infectious diseases, but because Ebola is so highly contagious, they're re-educating healthcare workers and re-evaluating facilities, both large and small, and they should have an even better idea on the level of preparedness after today's meetings, and they'll make the necessary improvements. Sue? 